Linda K. Hopkins, author of Dragon Archives and Shadowlands. And I am here to tell you a little bit about my writing process and where I get my ideas from. A lot of people ask me where my ideas come from. And uh, often it will just start with something really small. Um, for example, a painting that maybe I've seen or a picture or a photograph um, that just triggers off an idea or it might be a conversation, somebody relating a situation that happened or um, you know, t telling me a story about something that they heard about and, and it, it starts off a whole range of ideas. Or something, sometimes it might be another story that I've read um, and I get to the end and I think, hmm, what if this were different? What if we change this situation? What if this character was different? Um, and uh, that sparks off again a whole lot of new ideas uh, and I land up with something completely different from what was originally written and when I am writing I'll often build my story around one single se scene uh, so I will start off and I might not even know I'll know where the story's got to get to I know where it starts I know the end but I may not know what happens in the middle um, except for perhaps one or two scenes that I build the story around. So for example, for Bound by a Dragon, I knew what was going to happen when Kira found out what Aaron was. That was the one scene that I had in my mind and I kind of built the rest of the story around that. Um, I thought about how she would react, um, how that would play out and that was the scene that, that before anything else I had written down. But as I get ideas, I write them down and make notes and new ideas come and um, my best idea generation is actually just as I'm about to fall asleep. I'm kind of in that half state between uh, sleep and, and awake and wakefulness. And then I really come up with a great deal of ideas. Sometimes I don't remember them in the morning because I need to actually jot them down. But uh, if it's a really good one, I'll repeat it over in my mind so that I re will remember it um, when I wake up again and can write it down. Um, so that is, you know, a little bit about how I come up with some ideas. Um, and then when I start writing, as I said, I often don't know how it's going to come out in the middle. I know the start, I know the ending. And so it's a case of sitting down and thinking about how am I going to get to that ending? What needs to happen to get to that ending? What developments need to happen? And again, I will have a number of scenes already um, thought out in my mind and plotted. I will write down particular scenes and, uh, and then I need to bring them together. So when I start a new book, I will already have those scenes in, in my mind or written down. And when I start the book, that's when I start plotting the entire story and then start writing and the plotting that I do may change in fact it almost it almost always does um, I think I'm going to get to the end use going this direction but then when I start out I find out that in actual fact I'm going to go that direction and uh, it still meets at the end but the, the journey might change along the way um, and sometimes I'll find that I'm writing a character and I thought I was going to have them do a particular thing and it's almost like the character's nudging me and saying, no, 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 I need to do it this way. Um, and it lands up a little bit different to how I had envisioned. So that's a little bit of my writing process. Once I get to the end of writing it, that first draft, that first manuscript, then it's a case of going back and editing again and again and again. I will go through a book multiple times, a manuscript multiple times, before I even hand it to the first person to have a look at, um, my beta readers. So I will have uh, read it, rewritten it, taken out scenes, added scenes, uh, made adjustments, gone back again, done it again. That process happens multiple times before I have a manuscript that I can say, okay, I'm happy with the way this is, is looking. So that is the process. Once I have got to that point, I have beta readers, readers who will look over my manuscript and give me some feedback and then it goes to the editor. So that's a little bit about my writing process. I hope that you found that interesting and uh, I will chat to you again soon.